So they finally arrived. They've been in production for a good while. We had a few delays, but we've now got the Game Gear clean lights and the Game Boy Color clean lights in stock. Come in these cool new bags. And we're going to take a look at installing it on a Game Gear. So I'm just going to start with a rainbow version. Uh, we do these in many colors. I think there's like 11 colors as well as ones without LEDs on so that you can do your own. And it's really simple to do. All you have to do is place the clean light board down and align it up. And there's just a few pads to install. You have an option to either cut the board here and not have a power LED color. Or you can use the LED color that's on this board. So if you don't want to use this, just take some snips and cut it at this part here. But because I'm going to use that, let's just quickly remove the power LED. And then on the two legs of the LED here, if you just put solder between both, and then while it's on, give it a tap, and the LED falls out. You want to clean up this bridge between the two pads if you have any. You can see here they're fine. And just with a little bit of IPA as well, let's just clean up that area. If we align them over the holes first, you'll kind of see that everything else falls into place. So I'm just going to align them over the holes roughly and start with this ground pad. So it's the third pin over on the bottom row of pins. And once that's kind of tacked in place and this looks like it's in the right position, we can go ahead and solder the few pads that we have to. So we have the power LED over here, if you did do that. Apply some solder. Moving over to the right side, we have a five volt pin up here. So you can see this board needs moving up slightly. We'll add the solder. And we'll just push the board up from the bottom slightly to position it nice and accurately. And then in that position, we can tack down the 5 volt. Once that's on, there's only two more pads to solder. And that is to the start and one to control the brightness. So what we can do, if your holes are these kind of smaller style, I'll just remove the 5 volt connection for a moment. You can pre-tin these pads which will help with soldering down. And then for this one, we can see the solder there. So we just add extra solder and just push down with tweezers and flow over the pad. Just reflow that five volts, so it's nice and smooth. And then the last one is the one pad. And again, it's just under there. I'll show you how to test this anyway, but if you pre-tin the pad and you push down like that, you will get a solder connection. And that's really all there is to soldering this down. There is literally one, two, three, four, five points. In order to test these buttons now, it's quite simple. First, on the one button, you want to find out which pad is ground out of these two. So we'll go on the cage of the contrast wheel, and we'll touch left and right. And you can see the left half of this half moon is the ground. So the other side here is the one that should be connected to our one button. So if we hold on there and tap here, you can see we've got a good connection. So that's how we know the solder pad here underneath has made connection because it's actually contacting here. A quick check on this one as well, do the same first. Find which side is ground. In this case, the right side is ground. So the left side should be connected to our button. And it is. That's all the checks you really need to do. And now let's just power this up and see if it works. Just grab a clean juice. And let's turn it on. And you can see all the lights there. And you can see how nice the rainbow is. The power LED now is controlled by the console. So if your console works, that power LED will act the same as the power LED. Coming on when the console's out of reset. Flashing when the battery's low. And on the new clean light. So this is now the second version. The GBA current version is a fixed brightness. But on these new clean light, if you hold start and one for a few seconds you'll see that you can control the brightness of the lights. So you can see them going up in brightness and then down in brightness. And they can go all the way off if you don't want them on. And if you carry on waiting, they'll come back on. Go all the way up in brightness and then come all the way down in brightness. So you have infinite control of how much brightness you want these LEDs to have. And let's say we pick a dim brightness. We just have to let go of a button whenever we want, like now. And that brightness stays. And also, if you turn the console off and on, you'll notice that brightness level is remembered. So you can set these to whatever brightness you feel you want the console to be. And at any point in time, just hold over 
the start and the one button and then that's off so if you let go at that point it'd stay off then we go to full brightness and let go there's full brightness so what will happen when you're holding the buttons is nothing will happen for two seconds and then after two seconds the brightness will start to go up or down depending on which direction it was going and once it hits full brightness it will wait for two seconds so if you wanted to set full brightness you have a time to let go of the buttons and after two seconds at the top it will reduce to the lowest brightness and stay completely off for two seconds so again you've got time to let go if you wanted to set completely off but simply put you just hold the buttons until the brightness is exactly where you want and instantly let go to set that position so there you have it the clean light for the game gear with controllable brightness that is saved during power cycles you can see you can turn them off completely and then they won't be on at all so the stealth installed or you can just hold the two buttons turn them back on set the brightness to whatever you like and choose your color to match your shell but if you want to customize it completely we do sell the clean light with everything installed except the leds so you can just pick and choose the colors you like and if you want to see this on any other consoles, let me know. That's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next.